What was it that recently changed? Yeah, I mean, doing an interview like this isn't easy, and like, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> There's a lot there that, like, do I want to open that can of worms? It's just hard. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is having a great day. And as we get closer to the release of the documentary, Shiny Happy People, about the untold secrets of the Duggar family, more people are feeling comfortable to tell their own experience and their own story. In my last video describing how Ginger and Jeremy wrote their book, Becoming Free Indeed, I was also wondering if Jill and Derek would follow suit considering they do play a big role in the upcoming docuseries. But I will wonder no longer because Jill will be releasing a book in January of 2024 named Counting the Cost. So many of you are probably wondering, why are they waiting until after the documentary to release their story instead of releasing it ahead like Ginger did? But it was told that Ginger's book was revenue driven and that's why they were not a part of the docuseries because they allegedly would not be getting paid for it. So this gives me a lot of clarity that Jill's book will be a genuine story of her own journey without just throwing in money and throwing anyone under the bus just for her own financial gain. But I'm gonna go ahead and read the description of her book here. It says, for the first time, discover the unedited truth about the Duggars, the traditional Christian family that captivated the nation on TLC's hit show, 19 Kids and Counting. Jill Duggar and her husband Derek are finally ready to share their story, revealing the secrets, manipulation, and intimidation behind the show that remain hidden from their fans. Jill and Derek knew a normal life wasn't possible for them. As a star on the popular TV reality show, 19 Kids and Counting, Jill grew up in front of the viewers who were fascinated by her family's way of life. She was the responsible second daughter of Jim, Bob, and Michelle's 19 kids, always with a baby on her hip and happy to wear the modest ankle length dresses with throat high necklines. She didn't protest the strict model of patriarchy that her family followed, which declares that men are superior, that women are expected to be wives and mothers and are discouraged from attaining a higher education, and that parental authority over their children continues well into adulthood, even once they are married. But as Jill got older, married Derek, and they embarked on their new own lives, the red flags became too obvious to ignore. For as long as they could, Jill and Derek tried to be obedient family members. They weren't willing to rock the boat. But now they're raising a family of their own, and they're done with the secrets. Thanks to time, tears, therapy, and blessings from God, they have the strength to share their journey. Theirs is a remarkable story of the power of the truth and is a moving example of how to find healing through honesty. So with that being said, Jill and Derek are still very, very um, religious people. They still believe in God. They still go to church. They still have certain beliefs that some may find a little bit over the top. However, they knew that the way Jill was being raised and brought up, especially through the IBLP, it just something wasn't right with that. So one thing about it is it said that they're going to be exposing the manipulation. And I am going to just go out on a limb here and say Derek is going to be revealing how the ties with the family kind of separated, why he wasn't any longer allowed at the big house, why it was when Jill came over there, Derek couldn't come, or if Jill came over there, her dad couldn't be there. We will find out all of this in their book, but I think a little part of it will be in the documentary, but I think a lot of it is going to be in this book. I hate that we have to wait so long just to get some details out of it, but it's okay because I know they're going to be doing a lot of promotion and the word is getting out about this crazy cult. 
I want to know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any details. I appreciate you guys listening and watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.